so who is a workman uh, so we are now uh, on that slide uh, uh, particularly with reference to the definition given under the industrial disputes act uh, section 2s yes, defines the term workman uh, yes we all know what exactly is given so i am not going to elaborate it so any person who is employed in any industry right uh, he will be a workman but uh, provided he is doing uh, any kind of manual uh, unskilled skill clerical technical operation or even supervisory work he will be considered as a uh, uh, workman uh, but of course uh, people who are uh, doing managerial job uh, or the administrative job they are clearly excluded from the definition of the term workman as well as the supervisors uh, if they are drawing uh, 10000 rupees per month or more uh, so they will be excluded again uh, then of course uh, people who are uh, serving in the army air force navy police and prison services they are also clearly excluded they are not considered as workmen so so broadly this is the idea but uh, just to trace the history in fact uh, uh, now i think uh, we we are uh, uh, giving uh, our employees with a lot of uh, designations uh but there is a difference uh, between what uh, was uh, uh, done earlier and uh, what is being done uh, maybe a uh, present day uh, with respect to providing designation to the employees so earlier when we say a clerk uh, actually that that terminology very clearly it meant that that persons jds job descriptions would be definitely of clerical in nature and uh, if if a person was uh, designated as a manager Uh, his predominant nature of job would be managerial uh, absolutely there was uh, no issue the, that was the uh, uh, thing in the past but currently what has happened uh, uh, because of various uh, reasons in fact uh, the designations are used but uh, honestly speaking that definition does not reflect the uh, uh, actual uh, jds of uh, uh, the individual so there arises uh, maybe some uh, uh, dispute so so uh, even though because uh, now people are provided with uh, glorified designations right uh, say manager or even general manager but uh, whether those people are really uh, doing the managerial job whether the predominant nature of their employment uh, pertain to managerial uh, jobs or not is it's a big question actually right so there, there seems to be a clear uh, difference on that so so the point here is again uh, we may designate uh, in whatever way uh, we want to do that right but 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 the nature of employment the nature of duties of that person that matters most right rather than uh, the mere designation so again uh, in case if any uh, dispute arises the the court of law uh, will look into the uh, uh, jds attached to that uh, per person uh, to arrive at a conclusion whether that, that person is really a workman or manager uh, and he will fall under the uh, Uh, scope of uh, uh, industrial disputes act or not so so it is again the nature of employment or the nature of duties it is significant that matters most rather than the mere designation 